Greetings, Andy Johnson, Minnesota State University. We are looking at comprehension and overview of comprehending narrative text. First of all, comprehension is an active process, meaning that you have to be actively engaged somehow. It's not passively receiving. As well, background knowledge is very important. It's an integral part of comprehending because we take what's in our head with what's on the page to construct meaning. Meaning does not rely or lie in the page. It is constructed as we interact with text. Comprehension is essentially thinking. Comprehension is a thinking process. Here are 18 cognitive operations or thinking processes that have been identified as being used by effective readers. Not B. I see I have an error there thinking process. We can improve comprehension by improving thinking. And these cognitive operations will be the basis of the strategies and skills that we look at in just a minute. All the activities that I'm going to talk about and show you in separate videos are designed to develop these cognitive operations that you see on the page. And it's important to know Efficient readers approach narrative and expository text differently. We know that as adults, when we have to study a text, we have our strategies. But do not assume that students at any level know and understand that. I'll be looking at strategies for expository text in another video. We are teaching cognitive processes. And again, as I said, all the activities are designed to develop thinking. When we teach a skill of any sort, we should start in large group. If we're in a gen ed or a resource, in large group, we are using shared reading to model the process. Use graphic organizers of some kind to organize the thinking. They become an external form or structure of thinking. Vygotsky is that we start from the outside, we internalize ways of thinking. After many times of teaching in large group, you can move to small group, pairs, and then individually. And this happens over time, not in one lesson, but do many in large group, a couple small group. We are again teaching the process to develop the skill. A process is something we do consciously. A skill is something we do automatically. We want skills uh, students to be able to automatically do this type of thinking as they're reading. And as I said, thinking develops over time. Use shared reading as a strategy to develop uh, these thinking processes.